Good afternoon, I'm Michael Williamson and you're mic'd up with me here in Slidell. We're here uh, following the aftermath of the tornadoes that impacted the community and, and we got several community leaders that we wanted you to hear directly from our viewers so you can see and hear from the folks that are boots on the ground, as we like to say, moving at the speed of need. I've got Mayor Greg Cromer. Mayor, good to see you. Thank you. Chris Kaufman, a longtime dear friend, longtime leadership council member for United Way, who's the chief of Fire District 1. Yes. Hey, yes. Chris. Thanks for having me. And Chief of Police, Randy Fandel. That's it. I said Perfect. it fast. Uh, glad to have you all here, but I'm going to start with you, Mr. Mayor. Like, you know, this is a lot of people watching the news trying to figure out what's going on, but you've been here boots on the ground. You just said a prayer for the community. Let's talk about what you've seen so far. Well, you, you know, we we were in a, a meeting yesterday morning at 10:15 uh, and get a call from Chief Fandel, and I, I don't take the call because I'm in a meeting, and it, it keeps ringing and ringing, and finally I get up and go out, and he says, We've been hit by a tornado on the south side of town. We got uh, men en route, and it looks like it's crossed uh, Pontchartrain and OST. We've got major damage both places. So I, I grabbed a rain jacket and took off to, to see what was going on. Um, there are pockets of our community that look like Katrina, uh, and then you'll go a hundred yards from that, and it looks like nothing's ever happened. Um, the devastation from the, the winds in this storm. They're saying it was an EF1. Um, I don't know how that scale works, but I can tell you this, that what I've seen done to trees in our community looks a lot like what was done to trees in our community during Katrina when we had sustained 145 mile an hour winds. That, that doesn't equate to an EF1, it equates more to a, an EF3. Um, this was a severe storm, it's impacted uh, at least 100 homeowners' properties, uh, and some of those are completely uninhabitable, many, many of these hundred have trees on roofs, they're going to have tarps on their roofs, um, they're going to be mis displaced to, from their homes for short periods of time, up to uh, months until they can actually take these properties down to the ground and, and rebuild stuff from the ground up because some of them are, are that, that substantially damaged. Um, well thanks for that and, and I know that you would probably agree we're blessed to have first responders that are there to answer the call for help, and I know y'all have an immense amount of well, responsibility this, this, and experience. This is this is this is Team Slide L, uh, Public Works, you know, our administration, our, our fire department, and, and Chief Fandle, our police department. And and the amazing thing is we've got a great emergency ops plan, and, and it's coordinated with all three prongs of, of Team Slide L. And it's 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 wonderful to see when you've got trees across the the street. Fire department rolls in with the chainsaws; they start cutting. Our public works guys roll in with the uh, heavy tractors. We move the, the big debris out of the way. And all the time, PD, PD is watching our backs, keeping our, our men safe while they're focused on getting the job done. Uh, they're, they're blocking traffic and, and taking care of our men on the ground. And it's a coordinated effort. It, it's, everybody's working in concert. And it's just a, it's a beautiful thing to see a plan come together like that. The Team Slide L, I love that. So Chris, you know, you're, uh, at the fire district, first responder, your boots on the ground. We've heard about the, the impact comparing to Katrina. A lot of folks went through Katrina, but describe like what you've seen and your response uh, from the fire district standpoint. Well, I, I have never left a, a storm or hurricane in my 35 years, and I agree with the mayor. When you look at the destruction, uh, it's very similar to what we've seen in the past. It's just on a smaller scale, and it, it took the path of a, a whatever path the tornado chose uh, and, and damaged everything uh, along the way. Commercial metal buildings, uh, wood frame residential structures, apartment complexes, uh, t it cut trees in half. And uh, total devastation and uh, it happened quick. Uh, a matter of 30 minutes uh, we were hit. Uh, we had bad weather for, uh, for several hours. Uh, from, from the fire department standpoint, we worked a, a working fire from a lightning strike uh, that started around 9.30 yesterday morning and it just led into the, the torna tornado touchdown while we were still fighting that fire. Uh, and of course, any other personnel we had responded to, to Old Spanish Trail where we had the most devastation. And, uh, you know, it was boots on the ground. We set up a command post. Uh, uh, the mayor provided uh, equipment to work with us. We had over 70 firefighters working at one time. We had five different teams working that were cutting, clearing, just trying to make a path. We knew we had to make a path from our past experience so that you know any of the first responders 
uh, if we were going to make any headway, we got to be able to access people, be able to respond to 911 calls. Uh, over that, that two and a half hour period, we had a, over 100 911 calls. So we had to prioritize the calls, of course, work together with uh, Public Works, the PD, uh, you know, and I got to tell you, just it, it really was a team effort. Uh, it's amazing what, what you can accomplish working together. But you're, you're so right, and Chief Fandel, like, just share, like, you, you were making the call. You, you made that call to, to the mayor, like what was going through your mind at that time, and then talk about your response, because you're, you're out helping protect and serve at the same time. You're trying to watch the backs of our, our public service officials as well. Describe your experience. Our guys was patrolling like a normal day. It was a horrible weather situation. I can tell you this, National Weather Service, they hit this one on the nose. It, uh, they predicted it and we prepared for it. Our school resource officers were off that day, so we had, a, had them come in anyway. And uh, they were in the midst of it when, when the tornado hit. We had a guy right there by McDonald's on Punch Train when it hit. And he was able to help the lady that was on the, in the car that was on his side. Yeah. A little bit funny for him. As he got it calmed down, and he walked away. The body camera was still on. He said, I sure wish I'd have stayed on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but uh, no, these guys live for this. You know, it, it, that's what they do. They love serving the community. This community pays it back double. You know, it, it's uh, it's an amazing place to work. I've never seen anything like it. They both said that, said it also. I've lived here all my life, born and raised, been in police work forty something years, and I've never seen the devastation from a from a a quick storm. You know, Katrina is on a level of its own, but this was. This was just in a matter of seconds, and we had the destruction that you see in Slaughter. So um, I know we're, we're, we're fixing to go here in a second, but you know I want to certainly tell folks out there that if they want to help, you know we certainly set up our United Way fund, UnitedWaySCLA.org. You can go in there, make a financial contribution right now. What we hear from folks is they need to go out and get the things to replace the things they lost, and money's the best way to do that. We have a way to do that. And look, y'all's response has been incredible. I've, I can't tell you how much it's, it's helped us. Yeah. And, well, and, and we and love Michael, to see people doing their best during the worst of times, and y'all are doing just that. I, I think I'm in my 20th year with United Way, and uh, just proud to be part of such a, uh, an important organization, always stepping up. Uh, y'all have great experience today. We appreciate y'all showing up here in Slidell, helping us uh, with the supply chain that we have uh, created here at the Fridgey Park. and. You know, we continue to have people come up and want help, want assistance. Uh, the community has stepped up, businesses have stepped up, made donations of water, food. The Red Cross is out here. It's just been amazing. You know, hopefully we get power back on. We understand Clico and Washington St. Tammany are, are doing everything they can. Uh, you know, it, it's just some of the damage is extensive. So they're doing the best they can. And uh, until we get power back on, uh, we're just gonna have to help our public as much as we can. Well, we appreciate you guys and your team, Team Slidell, being boots on the ground, moving at the speed of need. United Way of Southeast Louisiana is definitely here to do our part. But thank y'all for coming on just a few minutes. I know we lost the, the mayor. He's fielding phone calls left and right, trying to get the resources here. And so that's it for Mike up for now. But just remember, you can visit unitedwaysla.org. You'll see it right there on the main page. You can make a gift. 100% of the money you donate is gonna to come to help the folks right here in Slidell. I need you to remember one thing. You, live, you only have one life to live. To live better, you must live united. Live united. That's right. Thank you.